It's March 29th, 2020, and the fourth Sunday of Great and Holy Lent. And today marks a very special anniversary for Holy Trinity Cathedral, in that 117 years ago, the construction of the very first Orthodox Church in Chicago was completed and was consecrated, and the first liturgy was held on this very day. What a beautiful and exciting time that must have been for all Orthodox Christians in Chicago, and even in America. The small and budding mission now has a new temple that has been erected in Chicago. And that's something that's attested to by the many people who gathered in the, throughout the country, and even clergy, to come here and celebrate that first liturgy. Of course, Bishop Tikhon, later Patriarch of Moscow, St. Tikhon was here and consecrated this temple with its parish priest and the builder of this temple, St. John Kuchudov. But on the next two following days as well, pre-sanctifieds were held in joy of the consecration of the new temple, with one liturgy being celebrated by St. Alexander Hotovitsky and the second liturgy being served by the future Metropolitan Leonti Dukevich. So what an exciting time just attested to by the people gathering here and uh, what joy it must have been in progress seen in their mission throughout all that time of struggle. And uh, in this book here, St. Tikhon of Moscow, Instructions and Teachings, it records various sermons and, and writings that he had while he, during his time as Bishop of America. I just want to read this quick excerpt of a sermon he gave on this very day 117 years ago. God is with us. Understand all ye nations. These words of the Holy Prophet Isaiah involuntarily come to my mind, beloved brethren, at today's blessing of this holy temple. Ask yourselves, what was here a year ago? Nothing, an empty space. And now this splendid temple has been already erected. I will ask, also ask you, what did we have and how many of us were here several years ago? Today is the 10th anniversary since the World Exhibition took place in this great city, and the Congress of Representatives of various churches was even held there on that occasion. But how many people could represent us here then? At that time in Chicago, there was only a small handful of Russian Orthodox people. Through the wise and fatherly care of then Orthodox Bishop in America, the Most Reverend Nikolai, this handful was gathered into an Orthodox parish. A small room was rented for church services and clergy were appointed for that purpose. What I really like about this reading with St. Tikhon and, and uh, well, his sermon that he gave that day is, is how much excitement is built within him. You can just kind of tell the joy that is, that is coming forth from him and the astonishment in seeing God work. And seeing God work, and just a year ago he was laying the foundation, and then yet here he is consecrating the temple in just a short time. And he goes on through this sermon uh, in, in which he kind of lays out some of the struggles and difficulties that the parish had in collecting funds, in uh, finding property, and uh, various other trials that they experienced uh, that goes in with forming a community and building a temple. And yet he has this just complete joy and astonishment of how God is working. And I think it's a, such a beautiful example for us on this day of, of perseverance, of great difficulties that come. You, you know, when we go about life, we see that so many things, uh, you know, when working with God, don't have this kind of, it's a muddy process. There's nothing that's very smooth like we would like it. We can't calculate every single move and decision of our lives. And I think we're really experiencing that more than ever at this time. And yet through perseverance and through constant faith in God and prayer, St. Tikhon was standing at this very spot 117 years ago in astonishment of God's people coming together, of God's people staying true even during the most difficult times and struggles when it looked impossible to accomplish such a task. And yet they were able to do so by God's help. So a beautiful moment for us here and for the city of Chicago on this day. A day where saints were walking through these very doors and serving their people. And a day when all the people were gathering in this temple with the newly fashioned cupolas and crosses decorating the skyline of this magnificent city. So we thank God for this beautiful day because what else is there to do? This is a great blessing.
And so uh, we certainly appreciate this and all the labors of our founders. So in God's time, we'll all be convening here yet again uh, to really honor this efforts of our founders as we pray for at every service of this holy temple. So uh, may God be with us and we thank him for this and may he help us persevere even through these muddled, muddy times and of uncertainty and, and uh, may we re receive our reward of, of God's love uh, to his faithful servants at the end.